big perks, man. Y'all to me, y'all be sensei somewhat. You know what I mean? One hailer from West London. You know what I mean? Energy rooted in Jamaica, you know what I mean? We're here. World domination, man. You know what I mean? Mr. Metaphysical. You know what I mean? Man of many names. I'm not gay. You see how everybody's got like um a personal like vibration to them and like a natural like frequency. I feel like my my frequency has always been a bit slower and like calmer. Like my my spirit animal moves like a sloth. Bro. <laughs> I'm very just oh I'm I'm always relaxed. I can't even I can't even say why. Uh, I started taking music seriously because every time I would drop a project for fun, they kept getting better reviews than the last. And I'm like, oh, damn, like I wasn't even doing nothing serious on that. So when I would see how people react, it kind of have me in this weird loop. And like, bro, I wasn't even trying. So if you think this is crazy, if I actually like put some like time and effort into it, then I already knew. That's that. That's literally what led me to believe. Like, I already knew it was going to go crazy. When I dove in, when full rap mode, like wrote on paper, like, put the time and hours into songs. It was gonna, it was, it was inevitable. It was inevitable. Why I kept following up with Smoke Sessions because uh, because of Lil Wayne, I was heavily influenced by his um, dedication mixtape series growing up. And I always wanted to just have a um, continuous like project. Even though it's turned in uh, into like a uh, studio album, I always wanted to have like a, um, a series, like a volume. Of, of, of projects that um, just continue out throughout my whole career. So like people can kind of look back at the legacy and see how it's grown. And I've always been a fan of just doing part twos and part threes to projects. That's why I always, I always used to do it so early on before I even like was established. I was always trying to get the fans what they want. So it's like, all right, they love Bamboo Forest. All right, let me get Bamboo Forest 2 for them. They love Smoke Sessions. All right, we've got Smoke Sessions 2 for them already. But it was just like natural occurrences where I would just want to dive into the next project and give them the next one, you know what I mean? I gravitate towards people that put out a lot of frequent mixtapes. So when I was in high school, I was listening to like Gucci Mane heavy. I was listening to Soldier Boy heavy. I was listening to Walk a Flock of Flame. I was listening to all the dudes that was on like the blog sites, like dropping tapes every two, three months apart. Like, that's that's what I was on. So I gravitated towards that because it was like, right, if I listen to this dude, it's not gonna make me wait a whole last year to get another project. I'm gonna get it in like two months and it's gonna be fire because he's just on grind mode, you know what I mean? So a lot of them early artists like just put energy in my back to be like, we can put out, we're gonna knock out as many projects as, as possible, you know what I mean? Oh man, I think it's just natural inspiration. I'm a, I got, I got a love for words, man. So it's always natural. When I hear a good verse, that's all it takes for me to be like, yo, uh, let me go write, <laughs> let me go write a good verse. You know, I just love flows. I love patterns and words. I love finding and hearing new uh, flows and pockets formed. So when I hear new things. It makes me want to go try some new things, and it's really like always natural, man. It don't even have to be like rap music. I've always got a, a strong sense of love for like just lyrics as a songwriters in general. So it could be it could be some indie rock, psychedelic, whatever. But like I'm always gonna be tuned into the lyrics and like perceive how the writer is writing and see how that um, affects how I'm feeling. I got a natural like love for like the English language, you know. I guess I put it through a hip hop lens. This is crazy. I just went to, I was at my mom's crib yesterday for my little nephew's birthday. And we used to have these like VHS tapes when I was growing up. And they used to just have a whole bunch of like 90s MTV, like New York videos on there. So like yesterday, just out of curiosity, I was like to my mom, like, where did them tapes come from? And she said when she was young, like in the 90s, she would be on MTV base and just all the music channels and just um, record record all the, the, like the best music videos onto these tapes. So like me being a kid and just like curious in my crib, I stumbled across the videos and that's what gave me all of my earliest inspiration. So before I heard any UK music, I was hearing all of these like hip hop and reggae videos from, the, from these videotapes, you know what I'm saying? 
You know what's crazy? I can kind of give like a little backstory. So first of all, I got to shout out my guy, um, Kate Ibrahim. We was at this like white city house party like two years back or something. He knew uh, Merlin from the group. He introduced me to him and just cause we was like on a vibe and we was all drunk and whatever. Like he played him Spliff in the morning. And then um, he was like, yeah, he's a fan of the song. Like he really likes the song. And then like a year and a half later, they said they wanted to um use the joint as a sample. And I was, it was kind of just love. It was like, right, yeah, no, that's sick, bro. Like, go for it, you know what I'm saying? Talk about a smoke cloud you see before you see me. It's crazy. Niggas look and drive me, Miss Daisy. I'm newly, you're my savage on some fuck you, bitch, pay me. Just pick me up in the front door. I bless the beat with smoke and rain, ash like Mordor. The warlords come and check the land for the slaughter. I'm such a hip hop head that, like, I love when a rapper gets sampled by another rapper and ish like that, you know what I mean? Same way Cassidy sampled Jay Z on I'm a Hustler, you know what I mean? It's just, it's a nice cycle. So for them to sample me and I'm like still coming up, I thought it was dope. <laughs> A dream collaboration, I do, you know. Man. Um, probably Method Man, because that's my that's my mom's favorite rapper of all time. So if I if I if I could if I could finesse the Method Man feature, then we done, <laughs> we done, man. We gonna we gonna go like do some architecture or something. <laughs> we gonna, yeah. Man. Oh, I like it, man, because it's a it's a label. I feel like people define the underground in so many different ways, but the way I define it is like. It's just anything that's not made for the radio. And then on top of that, you have like real underground stuff like before social media, when in Memphis, all the music that was getting made was just on cassette tapes and being handed out hand to hand. So that created like a community of underground tapes in Memphis. But then you've also got underground, like all the people I came up on SoundCloud with, I can name you like 2,000 artists right now that you would not know, but they're all credible and all doing things, all doing shows, all doing whatever. Beautiful thing about me is like, I'm just a personality outside of my music. If I was to stay underground forever, like I would always be in the public eye somehow because my personality is too big. Um, my favorite song of mine is probably not out, man. <laughs> it's probably unreleased. The songs are backed up, everything we dropped on right now, stems from like 2018 to 2020. We ain't even dropping those like 2021 source. All well, my 2021 source sounds like 2030, so we got like a whole lot. You feel me? It's like, it's real like that. <laughs> I've got some, um, I've got a few paint, a few painting pieces I've done. I've got some framed over that I could show you. Let me get through that. I painted this piece um, and it inspired the album cover. Yeah, and it was um, inspired off um, Aboriginal art from Australia and all the um, the maps they would use and like paint with the dots and the constellations. I've kind of been expressing it any way I can. That's considered art, you know, I might like, scribble some stuff down. A few poems here and there, you know what I mean? But just keeping it creative, man. just keep the brain moving. Pay better spent for all the music that I represent Knowledge in myself but wouldn't call myself intelligent AP just a stone to speak on planets with an elegance I space solar system flow Fuck the system now